The next question, the member for Scarborough. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. 30 days ago, your government released its budget. There was no mention of a couple of billion dollars for paid sick leave. There was only an assumption that the pandemic would be over and you put a, a billion dollars into prudence. It is clear that the government did not want to support Ontario workers or they would not have resisted a paid sick leave program that medical experts and really all workers have been demanding since the pandemic began to protect themselves and their families. It is clear that the government's budget that they tabled last month was out of date before it even landed. The government finally put forward a paid sick leave program, or is putting forward one, which is full of half measures and does not fully protect Ontario workers and demonstrates how clearly out of touch this government is. So, Question. Speaker, will the Premier commit to a fiscal update that contains the financial requirements for better paid sick leave, vaccination leave, and testing so that we can keep the people of Ontario safe and ensure that a booster program is built into it? Minister of Labour, Training and Skills Development. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, I'm very uh, uh, excited about uh, the legislation that's going to be coming forward uh, this afternoon. In fact, Mr. Speaker, uh, it is going to be very flexible, very generous, uh, very open, the most comprehensive plan in all of Canada. In fact, Mr. Speaker, Ontario is the first uh, province in the country to bring forward uh, paid sick leave during uh, COVID-19. So, Mr. Speaker, I hope uh, the member uh, opposite uh, will support our legislation. Uh, but uh, I do want to point out um, one of the uh, other uh, important initiatives and uh, parts of our legislation that will be coming. And I said this yesterday, Mr. Speaker, but we are also uh, going to ensure that uh, all small businesses and employers are uh, reimbursed. Unlike the Ontario Liberal Plan, uh, that came forward, Mr. Speaker, that really would have bankrupted uh, thousands of small businesses uh, across the province. And most Response. importantly, uh, Mr. Speaker, um, workers wouldn't have jobs to go back to. Our approach, uh, I believe, is the right one, and we're going to stand with you. The and the supplementary question. Sure. What happened to the Premier's promise for the best program in North America? Clearly, you have not delivered. For over 400 days, we have been calling for a paid sick day program. All members of the opposition have been doing that. And, Speaker, this government has fallen far short. Just look to the South. They have given workers 80 hours of paid sick leave to cover aspects of the pandemic. So, Speaker, three days is not enough to make things worse. The government included all sorts of other things into the program that really deserves its own plan. So will you commit to the 10 days that the experts have been calling for? Because every day you delay and drag your feet, people are at risk. So Question. will you make this program much more realistic by providing 10 days and make it permanent so that people can have paid six days moving forward? Again, the Minister of Labour. Uh, Mr. Speaker, let me remind the member opposite that we announced that we want to double the federal program to $1,000 per week for four weeks plus three paid sick days. Mr. Speaker, this is the most comprehensive plan in Canada. If a worker needs to take time off to get vaccinated, they can be paid. If a worker needs time off to recover from a vaccination, they can be paid. If a mom or a dad has a sick child at home or symptoms related to COVID-19, they can stay home and be paid. Mr. Speaker, if a worker Order. in Ontario is suffering Order. from mental health challenges related to COVID-19, they can stay home and get paid. Mr. Speaker, this is the most generous, open and flexible plan balance because we're reimbursing all small businesses Response. and employers. We plead with the Ontario Liberals to finally step up, stand with workers in Ontario, and join us today.